It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. What's good, Hanthi? It's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. It's your boy, Conejo. What's good, Hanthi? It's your boy, Conejo, man. And as you guys can see, we got a good one. We're going to be pretty much speaking on why the hate was so real with the uh, with the norte when i first got out right especially since i was someone that was still kicking it with actives and people that would still be considered to be affiliated uh with the norteños you know what i'm saying um and then out of nowhere uh a lot of people started thinking that at least the hate was from coming from my side towards the norte which in all reality it was never like that and i'm gonna be speaking on that and i'm also gonna be putting it out why certain Norteños and certain hoods, right, including my my, my own hood, kind of um, had to take the 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 necessary steps to like to get me out of the town, you know, to try to get me to fucking bounce or pretty much allegedly take me out the map, you know. So I'm gonna be speaking on that. So I hope you guys like the video. So if you do, make sure to hit a like for your boy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that follow, and when you hit that notification bell, man, make sure you hit all so you don't miss out on no fire content. And so you guys can interact with your boy, man, on a live, you know, um, which we already be knowing they be cracking. So before I get started, man, like I said, make sure you do all that and let's, let's get it. So when I first got out, there wasn't really like any dropouts that I kind of knew from out here in the calles or anyone that wasn't really affiliated with that. Right. So right away from the gate, man, um, to having like well, my wife and of course someone's gonna be dating someone that's affiliated you know and at that time my sister-in-law happened to be uh dating a certain individual that used to love having the homeboys over you know um but like like i said man your your boy was never a poop butt or nothing like that so i wasn't tripping you know what i mean especially with all the tattoos that i have i, I knew there was gonna be some type of issues um but i i i it didn't let it phase me you know so when I first interacted with like the homies or homeboys, I should say, right? It was cool. It, it was cool, especially because they were from another neighborhood. They weren't from my hood technically, but they knew your boy. You know, a lot, everybody in Watson knows knows your, who your boy is. You know, it's only common sense, um, especially because of that. What happened? You know, so if the ones that didn't know me, they they know me for sure now. And um, so it was cool, man. Uh, me kicking it with like the homeboys. I I didn't see them as someone that was gonna set me up or or try to take me out in some type of way right so i wasn't really tripping so with time passing um i got a little bit more comfortable of course and i was even approaching homies from my neighborhood you know like wh while they were at work and shit like that and even though they were in shock they 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 honestly uh acknowledged me man and they were cool about it you know especially because they know that i didn't rat or nothing like that so they weren't tripping and um but later down the line the i started noticing that the hate was real you know um allegedly one day one time man your your boy ended up uh getting disrespected from a homie from my neighborhood and even though i got into the the, the whole down to what really went down um i felt played you know i felt i i felt disrespected and i was um allegedly man i was like you know doing my thing you know where the homies were gonna get it too, the homeboys or whatever, especially the ones for that were from my neighborhood, you know. So what ended up happening is that uh, a lot of the little youngsters, you know, the, this is one of the the main reasons uh, why other hoods kind of like started being a, a little bit more aware of of who I was and not really want me around. Um, apparently, some youngsters, man, uh, they they used to love spreading little rumors and actually try to say that i was over there chasing them you know that i was over there allegedly putting in work on them and to me it was it was mind-blowing right when one of my boys told me like hey gee you're, you're over here putting in work on on, 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 the, on the homeboys and shit I, I was in shock right i was like well, what are you talking about bro you know the only individuals that i would have had put work in or, or something like that were the ones that pretty much disrespected me already you know so i was like nah homie what the fuck um, so I, I ended up having other neighborhoods, uh, pretty much jam me up uh, from Chico's from, from VGV, from all these other neighborhoods, right? Cause they were, uh, pretty much putting in the word out there that 
hey, be trucha with the riders. You know, they happen to be kicking it in Motel 6. And they, they be doing their thing, man. Just, just be aware that these fools are going to peel your cap off, allegedly, right? And... And even though, I mean, for some individuals, it, it probably would have, could have gone down like that. It wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? At that time, it was only me, technically, that was the only rider right here in Watson. There wasn't that many of us. And the ones that were, uh, they were either locked up or they were in another spot at the, at the moment. You know, they weren't in town. So it was a shock. You know, I was like, bro, I was like, unless you guys are the ones putting in work with me. I was like, because that's all I kick it with, you know, at that, that time. I was kicking it with nothing but WVNers and some other hoods, you know. And I was like, unless it was with you guys, homie, and we're all putting in work together. And they just laughed it off, you know. And I ended up having to tell some of these uh, older heads that pretty much um, I had to reach out, you get me? Uh, letting them know that, hey, bro, I'm not out here tripping. Even though I know my tattoos might seem like uh, disrespectful to the north and a little bit like, whoa, like, what's this fool doing out here, right? It wasn't nothing like that. I was I was just doing my thing. But later down the line, I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a good amount of writers that ended up paroling and getting out, you know, from the counties and stuff. So we, we looked thick, you know, we were, we were pretty uh, decent size where it kind of made it seem like a lot of us were kind of tripping. But in all reality, we we're just trying to program, you get me? Trying to fucking be able to push around town without having to worry about certain individuals. Because there's plenty of people just like me, man, that are in Watson right now that are either defected or they're doing their thing, right? So don't get me wrong. So if they happen to have personal beefs, which that's what it was, you know, a lot of them had their own personal beefs from prior hoods and stuff like that, where it kind of seemed like the writers were actually putting in work. Like, oh, these fools are going out their way, you know, to put hands on certain individuals and stuff like that. But I ended up having to, like, like I said, reach out to some of the older homies and let them know, man, like, hey, if, if the little youngsters from your hood are over there saying that we're putting in work, homie, it's nothing like that, you know? Hell no. What I look like, you know, uh, victimizing some youngsters, you know, because in all reality, I know what the youngsters are about, man. They'll, they'll, don't get me wrong. They have a thing. They'll peel your shit off. But if they're happy to be just on the push and stuff like that, they like to they like to lie. Let's be quite honest, man. A lot of the little youngsters like to be like, oh, man, I ended up running into this fool. And that's what was happening, right? So the Norteños, like I said, man, before I ended up reaching out like that, um, the hate was real, you know? The hate was real from all, all angles, bro. I couldn't really push around town as comfortable as I was. And even some of the homeboys that I used to kick it with, man, they kind of were like, hey, bro, it's like either we're going to get deemed or they're thinking we're riders. And, and even I was, even though I wasn't pushing that issue on them, Cause we were just chilling, homie, puffing, dabbing, and all that good stuff, right? Um, they they had to be aware of what's the reality, you know? Like, hey, bro, um, you do have a lot of these tattoos and, and stuff like that that kind of make it seem that you're against the Norte. And in all reality, they, they still believe in the Norte, even though they're not real political when it comes to the, actually their hoods, uh, being involved with the big homies and stuff like that. They still believe in the North and being from the town. You get me? There's a lot of them and what's on. But in all reality, they're not tripping. And I had to let them know, like, hey, bro, I'm not tripping. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of got to the point where other hoods were just like, hey, he ain't our issue. You get me? Like, that's what I, I ended up catching when that was going around. Like, hey, that he ain't our issue. Let the Cliffers, you know, let the Clifanos deal with them. You know, that that's someone that defected from their hood, which, hey, Till my till this day, homie, it's Clifford on mine, no matter what. G, you know what I'm saying? Um, so shout outs to my neighborhood, man. Ain't nothing sweeter than a C Streeter. Ha <laughs> shit. And um, so I ended up just becoming uh having issues and drama just with my my neighborhood. Out of everything, it was just like my hood. I would see other homies from other hoods, and they wouldn't. They, it doesn't really phase them, or or they don't really care to be honest. So shit, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I highly appreciate that. But more, more, the main reason why I made this video was to pretty much put it out there that your boy don't have no hate when it comes to the North. Day, man, shout outs to all, every single one of them. And they don't really have hate when it comes to me either, you know, because I see them all the time, to be quite honest. And they happen to be somewhat cool, especially after this YouTube. They know that I'm not out here tripping. I'm not out here putting in work on them. I'm just doing my family thing, to be quite honest. And yeah, when it comes to getting locked up or whatever, yeah, I'm going to rock with my group, you know, um everybody knows that and pretty much 
um, the the reason of this video was pretty much to let people know that half the time when people uh, want to create or have some type of hate, right? It's mostly because of little rumors that get spreading out. And like I said, the hate was real because of these youngsters. They were out here saying that I was over here tripping. And well, the older homies, the ones that really decide what, what goes down, they, they honestly believed it. You know, like, hey, this was over here trying to either poison or, or take off uh, on the little youngsters you know and that wasn't true so with all that being said gente i hope you guys like this video so if you do make sure to hit a like for your boy subscribe and all that good stuff right and when you hit that notification bell make sure you hit all man so that we can interact and chop it up in the in the live so with all that being said gente like i said um this is your boy conejo and we out it's EBK every day, all day, to the day I die. It's EBK, EBK, EBK. It's EBK every day, all day, to the day.